What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. This week we're going to check out an extension that allows you to erode shapes in SketchUp to create more natural, roughened looking faces. So before I get started, today's video is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. So and I want to say a big thanks to my newest supporters from this week. Redman, Ark, Xiao, Shaza, Nief, Bonnie, Arizola, Roberto, Cortez, Mike Drop, Shamferman, and Latipo, Famoto. So Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So if you're interested in that, you like what I'm doing on this channel, one of the perks of supporting the show on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. This week, the extension that was selected by my supporters is the Inneroth Fractal Terrain Eroder. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, Inneroth Fractal Terrain Eroder. Plugin developer, Christina Inneroth. Plugin cost, it's free. Please remember to donate to your developer. Where can you get it? You can download this extension both in the SketchUp and SketchUcation extension warehouses. Tool functions. This extension is designed to help you take a surface, subdivide it, and apply a pointiness value to each vertex, allowing you to create roughened, organic looking shapes. Basically, the way that it works is that you create a shape, then you apply a subdivision factor and a pointiness to the shape, which will erode your shape randomly. There are several options included in this extension. Iterations will adjust the number of times that your face gets subdivided. More subdivisions will result in a smoother shape, but a lot more geometry. Pointiness affects how far the vertex points in your shape are moved. Larger values will create larger erosions, while smaller values create smaller erosions. Note that this extension only works with raw geometry, meaning that it won't work with groups, so you'll either have to go inside your groups to edit them, or you'll have to explode them so that you can get to the raw geometry. Finally, move contours will affect whether or not the original contours of your shape are allowed to move or not. There are a lot of possible uses for this extension. Some possible uses include creating rough surfaces like brick or stone, creation of rocks or stones for landscapes, adding an organic roughened look to your terrains, roughening cloth items, and more. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you have some ideas for how you could use this extension. I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.